get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I feel like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of Atari, P90X, Einstein Bagels, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25 hosts in-person VIP events and masterminds for top entrepreneurs all over the country, including many events in the e-commerce industry. Rise25 hosted events this past year in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego, New York, Sonoma, Las Vegas, and probably a city coming to you. If you see the value of immersing yourself with other top entrepreneurs to connect and collaborate to get your business to the next level, go to rise25.com and let us know and find out where our next event is going to be. I am very excited to introduce to you Jan Olofsson. He's co-founder of Icelandic Water Holdings. He spent the last 30 years building successful companies from the ground up and transforming them into industry leaders. He's done it in a variety of fields, including entertainment, media, construction, and many more. John started to build a media and broadcasting portfolio when he founded Skifun, or Skifun. This is Iceland's largest music recording and distribution company with distributing rights for a variety of music and film companies like you've heard of Sony, Universal, Warner Music, Columbia Pictures, Mirabax, and many more. John co-founded the Icelandic Broadcasting Corporation before... That wasn't enough, John, you know, right? Before moving into television in 1990 when he took over Icelandic Television Corporation. In 99, Jon merged all of his companies under one umbrella to form Northern Lights Communications and served as chairman until November 2003 when he sold it, stepped down to co-found Icelandic Water Holdings with his son. And Jon oversees Icelandic Glacier Water, which is born and bottled in Iceland, is the world's first certified carbon neutral natural spring bottled water for both products and operations. What this means is essentially uh, they're an environmental pioneer in the industry because they use 100% natural green energy in the form of geothermal and hydroelectric power to fuel the production. Jon, thanks for joining me. Good to be here. Thank you. So what's the hardest part about the water business that that outsiders don't realize is so difficult? I I, well, I think really you have a lot of guys going out there selling a case of water for three ninety nine, which is just purified you know, tap water, and and people consume that. Yeah. And and we are we are uh, our case is what twenty thirty dollars. So it's it's, it's, a, it's a huge difference. When you're trying to work in the premium spectrum, that that's another world than 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 uh, you go to the mass market. But the thing is, a lot of people think water is water because it's in a bottle. Well, that's not right. Yeah. But a lot of water bottles is not good good for you. Right. But if, if people care, and especially if they care for their children, they should only be given in really really good water. I recommend Iceland, Icelandic, but you know, <laughs> you can buy it here, but you know, I can send buy it. <laughs> well, talk about the distribution though, because you deliver all over the world, right? Yeah. So, was that challenging, the distribution piece? Yeah, well, that's just logistics. So that's that's not so challenging. It's, yeah. it's to get to get a market interested and get it up and running and uh, give turning into a success. Mm-hmm. That is, of course, challenging. And we've been very fortunate that we have a lot of markets which we are really just doing amazingly well. You know, I tell you about Australia, which is the market which is furthest away from us. We have now about 80% distribution. Wow. And we're, we're selling, it's become our now third, third biggest market in, in one year. We can talk about another small, a small market, which is Bermuda, where about 63,000 people live. We sold over 40,000 cases there last year. Wow. There's almost one case for every inhabitant on the island, and this is this. I don't think anybody else has done that. How but did think, you decide to even go into Bermuda? Did someone just happen? You know, what what was that well, decision? 
Well, there's a, there's a whole story about, about behind everything, and that story is that uh, the, the owners of the company, uh, their daughter was 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 a school here in New York in Parsons, and my daughter was there too, and they they actually they shared a flat, and 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 then uh, at the graduation four years later, with the parents meet, and I realized oh they're in that business and I'm in this business, they were actually carrying wash water, and they kicked it out and took us in, and and uh, they are selling us multiple more, times more than they sold the other guy. So we see the brand climbing and becoming the brand. So we can actually look to the day that this brand will be one of the biggest brands in, in, in the world. Yeah. How does it do in the U.S.? You mentioned a lot of competitors, obviously. If you would have known all the, com or even thought about the competitors, you'd be like, forget this, I don't want to do this. But how is no, it in the U.S.? We're doing very well. We, we, we're, we're one of the leading, leading, leading brands in the natural sector, so, and, and we're seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of change in our distribution coming this year, so we should have a very successful year here now. Yeah. But, you know, uh, when, when Fiji, back in the day, became successful, their sales were 95% in the United States and 5% internationally. We're about 60, 40. Wow. 60 United States, 40 internationally. So, so we've been building this as a global brand from day one, not just focusing on one market and then, then uh, branching out, but we did, did it in a simultaneous way. So we're, we're in a lot of good markets doing very well there. So um, I read that Anheuser-Busch took um, an interest in you in 2007. How did you end up getting the attention of Anheuser-Busch? Well, <laughs> I, we asked for the meeting. Uh, a, a, a friend of ours was was working with me and my son, Jim Topkin. He he actually arranged for the meeting to be take place, and we were we were told this was the only time that they took a meeting for somebody who asked for a meeting, because they always choose who they would talk to and look for the friends they were looking for, and just they picked them up. And when we came in there, they told us that they were they were talking to three other brands. They want to go, to go into the to, to the world business, and uh, obviously we were there at the right time. Have we been there six months earlier? They were not ready. Have we been there six months later? We, we missed that boat, and you know, and I, and they, they decided there and then in the meeting they said we do a test with us with, with like, in California, and uh, and a year later they they signed a deal and we they became our partners and, and our distributors, but when they signed the deal, that's when they told me. When you guys walked out, we canceled all everybody else. We wow. decided to, we didn't know that. <laughs> They're not going to tell you that. <laughs> why? Why is that? What did you talk about in that meeting that they were so sure that this is the one they wanted to go with? What did well, they first, of all, first of all, all the stories. You know, I mean, the water is the purest water there is. The quantity of water is endless. Uh, our bottle looks like nothing else. We're the first carbon neutral serve company at that time. Right. I mean, all the things that we, were, we had put together, the story about the brand, the passion about the brand, the design, everything we had was done right. And, yeah. and, and I think that's, that's what has really kept us going is we never cut corners. We always just done what's best for the brand, what's best for the company. Never thought about yeah. anything else. That's pretty amazing. How did that affect the company once they came on board? Uh, it, 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 it was good because they, they, they bought in a lot of money and we built this big factory and everything was good for us and we've now been with them. I think we're now in year 11. You know, with you know when I think about this, it's, it's really remarkable what you and your, your son have done with this from what probably at the time seemed like an oh crap type of situation <laughs> that he has this company and, and then the investor backs out. Um, but it's always for you, it seems to be about the people, right? I mean, that's how you're able to do everything. So I'm curious early on, when it was just you and your son, you had this company, what was the hiring like? What people did you have to put in place to then actually create the infrastructure to build this? Well, we, we well, because I've been building companies all my life, so that was yeah. not, not, not a big test to do that. The thing is, for those where I've, I've never build companies which are going to be operating in, in more than one country outside of Iceland. So that was the challenging part. Right. And, and, and maybe the, one of the fundamental mistakes we did we in Christian in the beginning was that we did not hire any industry expert to work with us. 
we found out the hard way everything we've done. Mm. But at the same time, we are unique because we haven't been doing what everybody else right. has been doing. Right. And, Innovation and, comes from outside industry. So you didn't know any better in, in like yeah. the bottle, for instance. We did everything ourselves. Yeah. Everything ourselves. And you know, hey, we're here and uh, we are now really seen as one of the leading brands and we are we're seeing a lot of, lot of positive uh, feedback for the brand and, and uh, yeah, people love it and we're happy. What was what were some of the key hires for you that you put in the people you put in place? Well, there are there are there are there are, there are my management of course is, is really important and but in this industry everybody is important from from the driver to the yeah. room in the in the in the, in, the, in, the, in, in who serves the food and everybody has really a key role here. But quality is really what is most important that everybody who works with the company knows they have to represent health and quality. And if you see something connected with Icelandic glacier, you know it's good for you, it's, good, it's going to be something you can trust. Yeah. And, but the big big hires, of course, was, was when we hired Reza Mesa, who was, who was now our CEO in the States. He came, he came from a company called Activate. Before there, he was with Nestle, running, running part of their water portfolio. He's a great guy, he's done a great job with us, and we love him, and it's been really good to work with him. And a lot of the, the team which is coming on board now are, are really senior people that we can now afford to have on board. And actually, they see us as, 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 as a winning brand and they want to be part of it. Yeah. Those yeah. are the things that are very important. And of course, my my guy in Iceland, who who is my 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 offer, you know, manager in Iceland and CFO, he was my CFO also with my with me in my media company. So we've been been together for a long, long time. And, and, and when you have people that you can really trust and they believe in you and they they stand behind you, it just moves mountains. Yeah. You know, I want to thank you for this and uh, just really impactful advice. And I have two questions left, but I first want to point people towards they should check out IcelandicGlacial.com and check out what they have going on. And where else can they find it? I mean, I'm assuming different grocery stores, they can order it online. Where else can they find we're with Amazon, and also you can just go onto our website, and there's there's a, there's a store located. To put in your zip code, and you can see all the stores that yeah. we have in your neighborhood. And there's a wide variety. I mean, you guys have a variety of glass bottles, um, the the other type of bottles too, and you know a yep. wide variety of uh, different. Yep. We came out as as a, as, as a, a still water uh, company. We now have a, a, a sparkling both in pet and, and, and glass. We have glass now. Which is very important, and 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 within a few weeks we'll be introducing uh, flavors, sparkling flavors. Oh wow! Which is oh, that's exciting. Yeah. So we expect to be coming out with new, 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 new skews. Can you say what, what the flavors are yet, or is it still to be yeah. released? No, no. I can tell you that's going to be uh, uh, lime, lemon, and antiflower. And what's the last one? Antiflower. Oh, why that one? Because it's really healthy and good to put it. <laughs> of course. Um, so I always ask two last questions, you know, um, because it's Inspired Insider. And one is, what's been the low moment in the business? And the flip side is, what's been one of the proudest moments uh, for you in the business? Uh, I mean, this has been a really, we talk about the I mean, this, is, this has been really a, a, a long road, and there were times where things did not look. Can you see me? Yeah, now you're coming in. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we're talking about Icelandic. There are times when, when things were not really going well, and, and I remember that there was that one week that we had actually come to an end, and I had made the decision I was going to go to the liquidator and 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 uh, and make. Uh, uh, Take the company to bankruptcy, and I was going to do it on Friday. But somebody invited me for lunch, and I think I had too many beers. So I, I didn't. I didn't make it to to the liquid area. And uh, over the week, and I, I raised another two million dollars. So it all got good, all got good. But I was there. I was I was ready to go, and it was it was the end of the road. But hey, there is a God. <laughs> you kept pushing. <laughs> yeah. What about one of the proudest moments? Well, 
it, it's 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 always you know amazing when you do something which which hasn't been done before. I mean, when we did the deal with Anders Pus, no one in Iceland has ever done a deal like this prior to us doing it, and and uh, there was a real honor to, to work with these people. But there's so many other things we've done since then. So, I mean, it doesn't matter how big the people are or, or, or the companies are, it's just but it's about the people you meet and how big they are to you. And I only met giants in my life lately. So it's just wonderful, beautiful people who are really capable and, and, and are doing an amazing job. And, and that's that really strikes me. What about um, working with your son? How did that work? Uh, what was that like? Well, it's been beautiful and, it, and it's very good. And we have, you know, we look, it seems our tempers go well together. We, we, we don't have arguments or, or, or disagreements. We're not always in, in agreement on, on everything that we are doing, but we always, you know, it's never been an issue. But it, it, it is a blessing when you can actually work with your, with, with, with your, your, your kids and, and, when, and when it works. Yeah. It can also be like all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be the first one to thank you so much for doing this. Everyone should check out IcelandicGlacial.com. Get the water. It's alkaline. It's healthy. Plus, you know, the way they make it is good for the environment too. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Can I give you one more hint? As many as you'd like. Tell you guys to look at Secret Solstice, one of the nicest music festivals in the world. We have that in Iceland. What is it called? Secret Solstice. Okay. It is a music festival, has great bands, playing in a 24-hour 20, uh, daylight. It's is amazing adventure. So when, is the, when is the best time to go to Iceland? The, this is, the festival is, is in, in, in mid-June, around 22nd of June. Okay. At the solstice. So it's, it's beautiful. That is something to, not to miss. How often do you go back? To Iceland? Yeah. I, I'm there more or less every month, something. Like that. But I'm, I'm, altogether, I spend maybe three to four months out of the year. Nice. Okay. Well, then go to Iceland in June, everyone. Hey, we'll see you there. You heard it from Jan. you see you there. You're welcome. Be my guest. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire. Came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.